Today we're talking about MyHeritage's new photo app that just came out in the last week. It is really amazing and I have Daniel Horowitz here from MyHeritage to tell you all about it. This is something you definitely want to know. The thing that I like about it too is that it's not just something that is only for genealogy. I think you could use this app in a lot of different ways. So please, well, tell us yes. about it. Well, yes. And in fact, uh, when we created this new app, Reimagine, we thought on those not genealogists that are finding all these historical family photos on their homes and albums. Mm -hmm. So one of the particularities from this specific app is the technology, the uh, artificial intelligence technology to let you scan multiple pages with multiple photos with just one touch. So you open the album, you point it, you click, the uh, technology will recognize the different images and will save each one individually. So and nice. you can do that for the whole album mm -hmm. and as many albums as you want. The photos, once you have saved them, you will be able to use the technologies that MyHeritage already have, which is colorization, enhancement, repair, especially if the pictures are damaged or have some scratches. Technology is quite good taking care of that and animation. So we will focus on the face of your ancestors or your family and we will animate them for you. The last thing that we have included in this uh, app is the capability to record audio together with the picture. So once you have a picture and you have either your story, you can record it with the microphone or the way I do it better is I interview my relatives about that picture and then they tell me the whole story and I have their voices with the image and everything all together. Now, this is just the beginning. We are already working on other technologies and this is gonna be an app only for photos. It's going to be connected with your MyHeritage account. So whatever you do in the app will go to your account if you have a family tree over there and you have other stuff. Or it can be a standalone and people from all over the world can download it both for iPhone and for Android and just enjoy pictures and share with other family members in a different way. I love it. One of the things that I was so impressed with was the technology to take a full album picture and then have it identify and separate all of those pictures yeah. because when you're doing that, it's so time consuming and if you have an album, you don't really want to remove the pictures from the album because frequently you, you destroy them or damage them in that way. Yeah, we, u we used to glue them. Picture. Exactly. Yeah, we used to glue them with, with glues that never came out. And, and that is, is really a problem today if, if you want to take that out. We will allow you also, because sometimes some pictures may be overlapped or we don't recognize good the boundaries of the photo, so we will allow you to adjust it, but most of the times it goes very smooth and very fast. I downloaded it the other day because it was released on the 30th. I was really impressed. Thank um, you. <laughs> and one of the things that I did want to ask you about, while well, I have you here, is on the colorization. Once you've mm -hmm. colorized a picture, is there any way to take something like that off? Or once is, do you know, is it, once it's done, is it done? No. Uh, first of all, everything that we do to the picture mm -hmm. is not actually on the picture. Okay. It's like an over layer that we have of the original images. My okay. heritage will not touch that original image as okay. you have it. Okay. Also worth notice is that on the lower corner of the picture, you will see some icons mm -hmm. because we want everybody to know very clearly that these pictures were treated with artificial intelligence and that is not the original. So it doesn't matter if you're colorizing or repairing or enhancing, you can always say, I don't want that process, just delete whatever I did. Uh, it will be an all or nothing, meaning that if you did three steps, you will delete the, the three of them, okay. but then you can go ahead and I want only the repair. So, okay, I know how it looks and I didn't like the colorization for whatever reason, I'm going only to repair it. 
and you can do that without any problem. That's terrific. The other thing that I've got to tell you that I was really impressed with because sometimes when you have phone apps, you know, and our cameras on our phones are so much better than they used to be. Oh, yes. But sometimes, though, when you have these phone apps, the, the, um, the quality of the picture was not super high. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to do something with it later, you really couldn't. But I noticed, like, on one of the pictures that I had, and I just used what picture that I had in my photo library, um, it was a Meg. And so I was really impressed that it did maintain, you know, enough sub substance to be able to do something with it later. I thought that okay. was really fantastic. So first of all, we're taking, depending on the phone and depending on the camera, okay, the maximum uh, DPIs or resolutions that the camera can offer. Right. Besides that, the technology will also enhance and improve okay. that picture that you are uh, taking, making it compact enough not to take the whole space of your phone. And then if you use the enhancement tool, we will do an extra improvement on the face of the person okay. because then you want to animate it and you want the whole movement of the person to be uh, smooth. And then uh, it, it is all digitally done. But yeah, we will take as much as the camera can do and a little bit more. Yeah, yes. I think it's great. Okay, one of the other things about this that I'm really excited about, mm -hmm. because I had a lot of people say this to me over the years, when you came and started coming out with all of these great photo tools, they were like, I like my heritage, but it's expensive for me. I'm not really huge into genealogy and all these records, but you had to have that membership. But tell us about this photo app is less expensive. Well. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Because I think for some people, it's going to be a, a solution for them. It's going to be. So this app has a separate subscription, which is way more, uh, less expensive than the Complete My Heritage. If you have a Complete My Heritage, you can still use it without any problem, but you can just pay for this app and take advantage of, uh, of the technologies and the features. When I looked at um, it yesterday or the day before, I think it was $49.95. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds change. right, yeah. That might change. But so let me clarify that. So you can either do the app with the $49.95 or whatever the price is um, separate, or, but if you do have the higher level of the MyHeritage account, you get the app as part of that subscription or is it additional? You get the technologies for the improving photos okay. for the same price. In order to get the scan of the album, oh. the multi-page okay. scan, you need to pay just a little bit upgrade on that. Okay, it's not the full 49 or whatever it is going to no, be? Okay. No, 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 no. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just a little bit more. Okay, well, I've got you here. <laughs> Can you give me any clues on anything uh -huh. else my heritage is coming up with? Well, if I want to keep my job, <laughs> I need to be very careful. But I can tell you that as part of this app and the future uh, technologies that we are working on is artificial intelligence to date pictures. Once we understand the dress of the people, the background of the people, the type of the pictures that you have, we will be able to give you maybe not an exact date, yeah, but even an approximate date. date or spam of dates. And you will be able to use that as a metadata for the picture. So if you don't know when this picture was taken, this tool will be able to help you. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for doing this with me. I so appreciate with pleasure, it. With pleasure, with pleasure, always. always fun. <laughs> if you're ever at a conference, he is just so much fun to be around and his enthusiastic personality always makes me happy. So thank you for helping me. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> Please subscribe and check out some of these other videos. Have a great day.